And, you know, we can blame the, the blocked punt and all this, but I had two big takeaways from that game last night. Two big takeaways from New England-Dallas. Number one is Tom Brady, that's the most comfortable he's been all year. He had six drops, his elbow hurt, missing two of his top three wide receivers. He was comfortable. He had time to throw in a rainstorm in New England. Brady looked good to me. Brady had six drops. Brady was comfortable. His feet were good. His arm was good. He threw it aggressively. He had a nice running game. Had nice protection. Here's the problem. Sam Darnold was also really comfortable against Dallas's defense. So was Kirk Cousins a couple of weeks ago. So was Aaron Rodgers. Everybody's comfortable against the Cowboys' defense. Jeff Driscoll of the Lions had a passer rating of 109 two weeks ago. This Dallas defense lets quarterbacks be comfortable. You don't beat good teams that way. Brady last night in a rainstorm, 42, bad elbow, missing his second and third wide receiver. Left tackle just got back. Brady looked comfortable. Brady threw a great ball last night. Had seven drops. He threw a great ball last night. Can't have that. So my number one takeaway is not the punting, not the tripping. You're tripping. I would be upset about everybody looks comfortable. Kirk Cousins looked unbelievable. Aaron Rodgers, Sam Darnold ate him alive. Tom Brady, Jeff Driscoll. Can't win in this league. I mean, this. I said this for years. In the NFL, it's kind of simple. Make your quarterback comfortable, make theirs uncomfortable, and you'll win 90% of your games. I mean, you'll win 90% of your games if your quarterback's comfortable and theirs, theirs isn't. So that's my first takeaway. I don't think that's a solvable problem. I, I mean, Demarcus Lawrence, the personnel is what it is. The coaching on the defensive side is what it is. I don't think it's solvable. This next one, it's my second takeaway. Maybe this is solvable. So Dallas is a running team, I thought. So they go on the road in a rainstorm as an indoor football team with the best offensive line in the NFL. Six times. Dallas had a third and three or less. They passed it six times. Over six. But time out. Aren't you an indoor football team? Don't you have Doppler radar in Dallas? You knew you flew in there. It was going to be cold and rainy. Didn't you know as a power running football team with the best offensive line in football, you probably should have got into that game. And if you didn't know it before, you figured it out early. Dak's got a glove issue. Amari Cooper's all sealed up by Stephon Gilmore. That should have been a Zeke runs it 30 times. Tony Pollard runs it eight. Six screen passes to both out in the flat. You've got to be able to find an identity. We are 11 weeks in. What are you? At home when Dak's hot, you become a running team. On the road in a rainstorm, when you actually had a nice running game, it wasn't great, but you were you were finding little Zeke ran as hard as he had all year long. He was getting four yards a carry. You're not moving the ball through the air. Dak clearly had some issues grabbing the football. It happens, you know. It does in Foxborough. It happened to Peyton Manning. And now you're flinging the ball all over the field. Like this is a correctable problem. If you had a coach who could figure out stuff during games, that's really what separates the Pete Carroll's and the Bill Belichick's. You have a game plan. All of a sudden, something changes. And at halftime, you're like, all right, that doesn't work. Let's blow it up. Let's do something else. So, I mean, just say this out loud. Quarterbacks always feel really comfortable against your defense. And 11 games in, you do not have an offensive identity. You're an indoor power running football team with the best offensive line in football in a rainy Sunday night with your quarterback having problems gripping the football and Amari Cooper being taken out of a game. What are you doing? Six times, third down and three or less. We're going to throw all of them. None of them worked. So, I mean, I, by the way, you know I love Dak. You know I love Dak. That was Zeke's night. Last night was Zeke's. You, on Tuesday and Wednesday, first thing coaches do, game plan. 
you go to your Doppler radar and you're like, it's going to be windy up there and cold. And then by every day you're checking it. Then by the time you get on the flight, you're like, the, the pilot tells you it's going to be turbulent. We're landing in Boston. It's windy and rainy. So if you hadn't figured it out, the pilot tells you when we land in Boston, Logan Airport, windy and rainy. Then you get there, the walk through the day before you're like, oh, it's kind of cold and wet. And then you get to the game and you're like, oh, hell, it's cold and wet. You couldn't figure out it was Zeke's night? <laughs> I mean, that, and I'm a Dak fan. At home against Minnesota, that's a, that's a Dak night. Amari was open. Cobb was open. You had a comfortable pocket last night. Just try to give it to Zeke. 30 times, 34. Um, by the way, you know, if you're looking for a sign, Jason Garrett, during a game, you're not looking for a sign, look up. It's called rain. It's hitting you in the face. It wasn't a tough one. So, you know, Jerry Jones after the game is mad at his coaches. And everybody's talking about special teams, and I'm sure you've heard it by now. And it, it bears repeating for Jerry Jones. He, he made some strong comments about coaching and special teams, and that clearly was a huge issue. But to me, every quarterback's comfortable with, against Dallas's defense, and you still can't figure out your off offensive identity. Those are my two big takeaways. There will be no coaching changes in season. There haven't been this morning. The block punt, obviously on the scoreboard, that's a killer because statistically it was very even. New England and Dallas were even except for the details where Belichick was better than Jason Garrett. We knew it coming in, and we now know it going out. And let me shift to the Niners and Packers now. So Green Bay has faced three very physical teams this year, and they're 0-3 against them. Gotten pushed around the field against the 49ers last night. So the knock, the knock on Mike McCarthy, remember? That's the former Green Bay coach. Was Aaron Rodgers is special. He is special. You got to get him a special coach. And you got to get him a special running game. And you got to get him a more special defense. Because Mike McCarthy, even though he won a Super Bowl with Aaron, he's not special. Even though Favre swears by McCarthy, he's not special. So let's get Aaron Rodgers special. So they do. Aaron Jones running back is special. Uh, their linebackers, they got free agents, are special. Their coach, Matt LaFleur, whiz kid, I'm told, is special. And, and you're blown out. Okay. All right. Let me guess it's your offensive line. Yeah. Well, can I ask you, how often do you in the NFL have a night where you get great protection? Aaron Rodgers had the ball 35 minutes, passed for 104 yards. Aaron Rodgers had a running game last night. Yes, Aaron Rodgers got sacked. Tom Brady won yesterday with Julian Edelman, two rookie wide receivers at 42 in a rainstorm. Russell Wilson went on the road yesterday, was sacked six times. That's more than Aaron was sacked last night. With a bunch of undrafted rookie wide receivers, Josh Jordan Gordon just got the town, and Jadavian Clowney, best team teammate, wasn't there. And Russell Wilson won because Russell Wilson wins close games, and Russell Wilson wins on the road, and Tom Brady wins when he doesn't have great weapons. Tom Brady would kill for Devontae Adams. He was there last night, Aaron. Tom Brady and Russell Wilson would kill for Jimmy Graham. He was there last night. Tom Brady and, and Russell Wilson would have killed to have a bye week. Green Bay did. Don't tell me that everything has to be perfect for Aaron Rodgers to win. Well, his offensive line got pushed around. Welcome to the NFL. That happens to everybody. Did you see Tom Brady last week at Philadelphia? That, his offensive line got pushed around. Have you watched the last two games for the Seahawks? Russell Wilson's been sacked a total of 11 times, but he wins both games, San Francisco and Philadelphia on the road. This whole thing about Aaron Rodgers, he always escapes criticism. Well, the offensive line... They're all bad outside of Dallas. Who's got a great offensive line? He had Jimmy Graham. He had Devontae Adams. He had a running game. He had 35 minutes. You gave him a special coach. You gave him a special running game. You gave him special linebackers. At some point, he gets blown out too much. Aaron Rodgers simply gets blown out. Does it have to be perfect? Do you have to be at Lambeau with all the cheeseheads there? Do you have to be playing a team with a bad quarterback or Detroit? Do you have to have perfect protection? Do you have to have all your receivers healthy? That's the NFL you're looking for? Because that one doesn't exist. I mean, that, that, that doesn't exist. Brady last night's doing it with Edelman and a bunch of guys. I don't even know who they are. Russell Wilson's running for his life the last two weeks. So you, you can keep saying, by the way, career record on the road, Aaron Rodgers. One game under 500, 42 and 43. And he's getting blown out too much. So this league is not about being comfortable.
This league is the ability for a quarterback when you don't get great protection to not make mistakes, hang around, go to the sidelines, not be by yourself, talk to the coaches, pick up first downs, and hang around. I mean, you, 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 you kept telling me Aaron's special, he needs more special. That running game is special. Aaron Jones is special. Matt LaFleur, I'm told, is special. You know, that you, you went and got two special line, linebackers in free agency. Those are special guys. It, 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 the world's not perfect. Look at a quarterback's record on the road. Look at Brady and Russell Wilson's record on the road. Because on the road, you can't hear. On the road, your protection's never quite as good because the lineman can't hear. You know, on the road, let's be honest, the fans are worth four points. So you go in down four nothing. You're staying at a hotel. Somebody pulls a fire alarm, gets you up early. You have to take a crappy bus to the game. Bumpy turbulence in town. You know, you walk around practice. It doesn't go as well. On the road, it's discomfort. On the road is not perfect. On the road is uncomfortable. Aaron Rodgers is under 500. You can keep telling me about the offensive line for Green Bay. Where's Russell Wilson's? By the way, where's Kyler Murray? Because I saw Kyler Murray two times in the last month give San Francisco fits. His offensive line's worse than Green Bay's. And he didn't have Green Bay's running game. And he had a college coach. So, I mean, it's just, it's just always an excuse. I don't buy it. I, I think if you look at Green Bay's weapons, Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, Jimmy Graham, Brady would kill for that. They'd love that. Sorry, you can't have perfect weather. You can't have perfect protection. It can't be a perfect game. Your defense can't have to get turnovers. Some of this is on Aaron. Some of it is on Aaron Rodgers. Okay, and again, blown out, not close, over early. That team's too talented for that. And, and you know, guess what? San Francisco made Russell Wilson uncomfortable last week. He won, made Kyler uncomfortable twice, and he made a game out of it. That thing was over middle of the second quarter. Your first ballot Hall of Fame guy, you're getting blown out too much. You can't win on the road. You can't win when you're uncomfortable. NFL's not about being comfortable. Quarterbacks are rarely comfortable. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.